the world had not been the same since Ryan took over it. He had built a castle right on top of his house, particularly Olstead Castle. He put new laws in throughout the entire world. Anyone who did not subscribe to his channel was thrown in a cellar to be hanged. Hey, I don't really want to be a part of this. What are you doing? Stop, stop, stop! His mini subscribe I mean, his subscribers, did his bidding for him. That's good. Now go find some more delinquents. Yes, sir! Ah, I love being ruler of the world. Because of this... He had to be taken down. And this is when you cut to our three main protagonists. Thomas, Percy, and James. The world had been under Ryan's control for quite a long time now, and they were all significantly damaged. Especially Percy, who had morphed into Dirty Percy. Don't call me down! Percy, is that really a time for that reference in right now? Ryan's taken over the world. I know. I just really hate being called Dirty Percy. Well, you're gonna have to get over that now. We've got some work to do. If only we could figure out how to get rid of that Ryan's toy reviews. If we can take him down somehow. Yes, we know. But how do we do that? Perhaps I could help. Suddenly, Gold Magnet Stanley reappeared. Whoa! Gold Magnet Stanley, he's so sexy. Yes, it is I, Gold Magnet Stanley. And I am here to put an end to that terrible engine's raid. Rain, raid, whatever. What, didn't you say he was a kid last time? He's both. Uh huh. That makes sense. Well, one thing's for sure. What? What? I wasn't making any reference to your episode, Percy. Okay. Anyways. We've got to get rid of that Ryan's toy reviews. I've got a plan how to do it. We're listening. Epic trans. Ah, I love being ruler of the world. I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. I don't need to do chores or anything, you know that. I can just do whatever I want. Ah, what are you doing? Ah! Ignore that also. I told you, whenever a sub engine, a person, whatever, didn't subscribe to me, they get hanged. But that's, um, it's kind of inhumane, so I just throw them off this cliff here. Ha <laughs> ha Throwing off engines and people off cliffs. What a life. This is not foreshadowing at all. Sir, sir! Huh? We found two more non-subscribers. All right, bring them here. Ah, oh, I remember you two. We had a collab. And then you tried to get rid of me and... Punch me and you did terrible things. Make sure they're hanged or killed or whatever you do to them at once. Yes, sir! No, please, we're sorry, Ryan, we didn't mean it. Yes, we did. Oh, shut up, Dennis. Well, go find more. Ah, I love my subscribers. Meanwhile, not far away. I know that. Den, I mean, Thomas, James, Percy, and Stanley were waiting outside the castle. All right, you lot. If there's one thing that Ryan loves more than anything, it's money. Well, besides that, his subscribers. I'm going to go distract him and talk to him about subscribing. And you have to sneak in and put this conveniently placed dynamite right near him. Oh, okay. 
Why does it take three engines to do that? I don't know, James. Plot convenience. Oh. Ah. Ryan. What are you doing in my castle? Oh, I, I just wanted to talk to you about subscribing. Oh, a potential subscriber. I always have time for those. Now, you see, when it takes subscribing to me, you have to do it very particularly. Blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, while Ryan is talking about subscribing, Thomas placed the dynamite behind Ryan. And that's how he subscribed me. Great. Uh, I have to go now. All right, then. All right, it's all set. Did you light it? No? What, you didn't light it? No, we didn't think we would. I thought we were waiting for you. Gosh darn it, Percy! Ah! What, what's the dynamite doing there? Ah! What the? Ah! Oh! You can't see the battle right now. There you go! Oh! Oh! I'll get you! Ah! Suddenly, Stanley and Ryan were in an epic battle. Thomas tried to get up to light the dynamite. Said Ryan and pushed him down the ramp. He went colliding into James. Oh, my paint look! Dirty Percy was the only one left. Don't call. Shut up, Percy. That dirty Percy? You think he's gonna stop me at all? My God! A people calling me Dirty Percy! And Percy lit the dynamite spectacularly. Huh? Suddenly, kaboom, Wolfstead Castle went. Things started falling apart. Oh, no! Ryan couldn't hold on. Oh! He fell off the cliff. Stanley, are you okay? Well, Percy, that was really epic. Yeah, shut up, James. Suddenly, oh no, Stanley, look out! Oh, it's it's not Stanley, it's, it's Cersei Gold Knight. Ah! Suddenly, all said castle started falling. Oh no! Stanley! cried Thomas. No, Thomas, don't! Why? It might fall on you. I don't think it will. No, Thomas, I have to have this moment. I have to have my significant death. The sexy character always has to die, and then they'll become even more of a fan favorite. It has to happen! Stanley, no! Ah! And that was the end of Sexy. Can we have a moment of silence? Please? Oh, shut up, narrator. Why does everyone hate me? The engines did, however, have a moment of silence for his sexy gold diamond Stanley. He was a great friend, even though we only knew each other for five minutes. He was an incredible hero. Hey, Ryan's house is still there. What should we do with it? I have an idea. Stand back, everybody. <sighs> now all trace of that horrible kid slash engine is gone. Indeed. Um, so now what? We're the three heroes. We saved the Earth. Now we get all our fame. Yes, yes, everybody. I'm the one who saved the Earth. Where is everyone? Why are subscribers are still holding everyone hostage? Oh shit! We have to save them! Come on! And so our three protagonists rolled off. They did eventually stop the subscribers of Ryan. They never really wanted to help him anyway. But the world never got over in the tragic death of sexy Gold Magnus Stanley. And thus ends the tale.
of Ryan's toy reviews. That annoying engine kid. So yeah. You should subscribe, because that was epic. Also sexy.